Okay, everybody, welcome back to Tech of the Crash. Um, as you can see on my windows, I have been working hard with my with with Jared. Um, uh, we have built the the start of the factory. So um, that is going. This is going to be the first level. Um, we're going to have these marble pillars coming up. Going to be four of them. The uh, two dirt piles going to be the other ones, and these are. The refined ore chests. So, what happens? Let me go and show you what happens. Let's go ahead and go down into the basement. So, down here into this little this ladder that right here, we go down into the basement that I created. Boom! There it is. Basically, it's just another floor underneath. Um. So what happens is the quarry, which actually has finished, it has completed its cycle. Um. But the quarry pumps all everything it mines down here, and then it comes into this diamond pipe. Now, what a diamond pipe does? Let me go and show you. Let's see, diamond. Let's see where is it? Um, uh, I can't find it. Oh, it's this new pipe. So a diamond pipe is right there. That one right there. And what it does, so it's, it is kind of expensive. It's a glass and two pieces of diamonds, and it gives you eight. Um, but once you use them, I mean, you can use them a lot. So, uh, get out of here. There it goes. Okay. Anyways, so what the diamond pipe does is it actually separates everything out into different directions. So you see how there's a green, there's a blue, there's a red, and then there's a black one at the bottom. So what it does is if I right-click on this, I can tell what items to go in what direction. So, for example, black that has some of the precious gems and, and ores that don't need refining. So, for example, lapis, uh, uranium, nickelite, redstone, etc. And what it does is it goes this way, and it actually goes. Uh, I don't remember which way it goes. Oh, it's black. Sorry. So black actually is, goes down, and then pops back up here and then goes up to that chest that's up there and then this other red this is all stuff that <clears throat> we don't need to make anything for example rubies emeralds and sapphire we don't need it to make much of anything at all because um, we don't need to make it to make tools anymore we can use diamonds or even pretty soon I'll be making electric tools anyways so it goes up actually to a condenser um, and it condenses everything into diamonds, and so that's what that does. Then, the blue side has all of my ores, my iron, gold, silver, tin, and copper. Now, when uh, some people make, um, make a refining facility, they just use one macerator, one furnace, stuff like that, and then they use, like, obsidian pipes, uh, to pick up the ores, and so basically so it doesn't fall out. I don't like doing that. I like being able to mass produce as much as quickly as possible. So that's how I set it up like this. So what happens is the diamond pipe comes out and then it actually splits into another diamond pipe sending uh, I think you can see right there. Uh, actually it's going to be one more over. Yeah, sending some of the ores up and some of them some of them towards yellow, some towards blue and then it splits again. Uh, yeah, right there. Some goes here, some goes there. So anyway, and basically, it's it keeps splitting it until one ore goes into this one macerator. Now, another thing that I did, I'm going to go and cover this up, is I created this chest. Now, what this does, it's very simple. Um, I created a a chest that go feeds into a iron pipe. Now, if you remember an iron pipe, what it does is it allows things to flow in one direction. So basically to flow into here and then out that way. Or from the quarry and it'll just keep going straight. It won't split off and go into the chest. So what this does is I can put it's basically a sorting pipe. So what it does is is I can put anything in there, whether it's ores, gems or whatever, anything that's in part of this sorting system I can place it into this chest and then it would will get sh sorted so this kind of show you how it works that's dirt and dirt goes into red and right now it's gonna go up and go into my condenser so that's pretty cool that's um, what I did 
I wasn't recording during it because it was it's kind of a tedious process. Uh, it takes a lot of work to do. Um, now, as you can see, I do have a world uh, a world anchor here. The reason being is because uh, it turns out I was lagging this server immensely. The so I have a world anchor down here to make sure that the quarry continuously pumps right here. However, what was going on is the world anchor didn't reach um, out this direction. Uh, it only reached, it only made it to about this far, and then I had my condenser initially was about right here. So what was happening is because it wasn't loading this chunk, yeah, the the items that the koi was picking up was were falling on the ground, and it lagged the server so much that it was basically unworkable. I had to come in, took took it took us about two hours to to get down here, and we end, we ended up just throwing lava on all of the items because we just couldn't we couldn't handle it anymore. Um, so anyway, so so that's why I have a second world anchor to make sure that if the koi is pumping, that it will pump continuously into these my my factory now as you can see I do have a lot more factory left over what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up automated systems um, so for example iron so what's gonna happen is eventually this iron is gonna break off into here and it would actually go into refined iron so some iron will go up and then some will go into refined iron and basically what it's going to do is it's going to, it's going to make lots and lots of different kinds of metals all completely automatically. Um, so the core is going to pick it up and it's just going to start making them. So it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, still not still not quite done. Um, but it will continue to grow as as we need it. So anyway, since this quarry is finished, I promised you I was going to show you how to... Um, Oh, and I need some pipes, don't I? I promised you I was going to show you how to set up a quarry using the landmarks. But let me go and pick up a few more pipes. I think I don't need that many more, but I do need some. Eventually, all of this stuff, like the house, I'm thinking we'll probably even destroy the house eventually because we don't need to live apart from everything else. So it's, was that? I think that was waterproof. Oh, good thing I, I was made sure on that. There it goes, transport. Okay. So, let's see. Then I gotta go back down to the quarry. <clears throat> okay. So, so what we gotta do is we gotta destroy this as well. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop, put the quarry on this other side over here. But, if you remember, we do have to set up. Let's see what we're doing. Set up land my, uh, landmarks. So if we just go, do I want it over? I'm trying to. Give me one second. I'm trying to think of how I want it done. Um. No, that's fine. All right. So I'm going to put it just right here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then we go, once again, we go back. No, I think I want it one more over. So I can have more of a walkway. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to put it right there. And then, so this, it's two, two back. So I think this is what I initially decided on, but I second-guessed myself. Uh, so if we go back here again, place this landmark there, it is... Once again, it is two blocks back from my walkway. Uh, it does have to be lined up. Make yeah, do you have to make sure that it is it is lined up or it will not work? And then we go back, and then we have to go this way. Once again, I I did I built these paths. Um, I actually found some interesting um, caves, but I'm not in the exploring mood right now. Right now, I'm in the quarrying mood. So we are just gonna we're gonna quarry. We're gonna mine. So okay, just like that. And and then we need our quarry. So the quarry is gonna go right there. Oh, I, I messed up. Okay. So what you gotta do is first right click on the landmark and see how it takes one line that way and one line that way. So what you do is you just put it down and it actually makes the quarry. And as you can see, the landmark kind of pops out. And it makes the quarry and allows it to to 
I'm trying to say. Hold on, it's coming to me. <laughs> Allows you to make the koi any size you desire. So it's a pretty cool, neat little tool. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and uh, pipe this, and then I do have to move the en energy condenser as well. Uh, okay, so I have we were rewired the uh, the energy link. And I said I think I said energy condenser before, <laughs> um, but the energy link I've rewired, and I've I rewired this is going to be placed right next to the quarry, and then it's going to place that right there, and the quarry starts working. So, um, pretty soon we're going to start seeing scaffolding being built just like this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave it alone for now, and I'm going to keep doing. Um, I'm going to go and fill in these holes. Cause I don't like exposed cables um, and also I did create more MFEs so now there are, I have a total of three of them this one leads to the to the factory and then this this one and the one above it lead to the quarry so as you can see the quarry is working energy is being depleted um, so yeah so this is gonna go, go go ahead and keep keep building I'm gonna go make myself a little pathway so I can walk down there oh actually that's something I need to do I need to walk down there um, I need to get, there it is, my, oh, and see actually here it comes, it's being built, see look at that, it gets built really fast and it creates a huge area, so anyways, um, you need to go pick up your landmarks, um, they're not that expensive to make, but you only ever need three, so um, just remembering to go pick them up after you use them is, is really the best option. Um, so anyway, now that I've shown you kind of what I've been doing, what I have done, did I pick it up? Yeah, I did. Um, actually, I do need to, oh, didn't mean to drop that. What I do need to do again is create somewhere in the middle, I, I need to put this word anchor down, so that way the uh, the koi will continue to, oh, will continue to mine and also the Everything will work. And I also, a trick that I did learn that I did not know before, if you have a a world anchor, if you push F12, it creates like this, oh, see, there it goes. This little purpley fuzzy stuff in the air. Um, and it kind of can show you where the world anchor is working and where it is not. So, um, I hope I, I hope it all makes it over. I think it's going to, so. I might move it a little bit closer. Actually, let me go. I am gonna move it a little closer. Oh, I need some torches down. I'm gonna move it just a little bit closer. I think I just to make sure. I would hate to to lag the server again. People did not were not very happy when that happened. So just right there. Oh, actually, well, that's not close enough. Anyways, um, let me go ahead and fix this, and when we come back, I'm going to show you guys w uh, some more what how to make infinite lava. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, I'm climbing this ladder to get back out, and there are some monsters. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now that I have I have finished, I've killed the monster. Oh, creeper. <laughs> um. He stays up there, okay. Um, so I've, I have killed the monsters. I have made fixed the quarry, so it is pumping again. Now, actually, I do need some more stuff because there's multiple ways to do infinite lava. Um, let's see. Let's take some tin, uh, some silver. Silver. We don't need all of this. Um. There are multiple ways you can do infinite lava, but the best um, one way is, to, is pumping lava from the nether. Uh, I have done that before. There are many, many tutorials in how to do that. Uh, I have come up, well, I don't know if I created this idea, but I didn't see anyone else doing it, so I uh, thought about the idea, and now I'm going to implement it. So what we need is actually a volcanic a volcanic amulet vo, vo, vulcanite amulet so what it is 
It takes lava buckets and dark matter. So I already went ahead and got a lava, uh, a bucket of lava. I just went down into uh, our mine and I found some a lava source and I just picked up, picked up a bucket real quick. Um, and yeah, so that's what I did. So let's go ahead and get some tungsten as well for some EMC. So what we're going to do is we are going to first we need lots of coal because we need to create some dark matter. So dark dark matter is I think I when I made the um, the destruction catalyst I had to make Arturnius, uh fuel. So I'm just going to do that again. Uh, I'm not going to show it again. So go ahead and uh, enjoy the nice little skip. <laughs> Okay, so I have made my eight. Oh, actually, yeah, we're gonna make one dark matter for now. I actually might have to wait a few episodes to get some more EMC. Um, I'm not sure yet. So we're gonna go ahead and keep working on it and see how, see if we can do this. So eight. So so one stack of sixty four of coal makes one Artonius fuel. So it took me eight stacks in order to make this one. Uh, so these eight, just so you know. Um. Anyways, what we're going to do now is we are going to make ourselves a, because it needs a diamond block. So uh, that is just like this. And there is our diamond block. And then you take the diamond block inside of the fuel, like so. And boom, dark matter. Now, okay, we need three of them. Um, now, the luckily, it can be condensed. Uh, that's the good news. The bad news is it is going to use up a lot of our materials. So, because um, I believe it's 17 diamonds makes one dark matter. So, that should be one right there. Okay. Um, let's see how much more it's going to take. So, I'm going to go look for some more EFC, EMC. I'm actually going to go and make four of them. Uh, because eventually we're going to need dark matter for some other stuff. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and find some more EMC real quick. And yeah, we have two. Okay, one more. Okay, so close. I have okay. three. Boom. Four, a total of four dark matters. Perfect. Um, and actually, like I said, I only need three for what I am doing. I'm actually very surprised we got it. Uh, I got enough. So, anyways, I'm gonna put one dark matter in my in this chest. Uh, I don't need it right now. Uh, it's gonna be used for future projects. Um, what am I doing? So now I need lava buckets. So if I take this lava buckets, boom. Okay, that's a lot of lava. So, oh, oh stop it. Okay. So I need how many do I need? Um, six. I'm gonna go ahead and do, take seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, uh, just because of, uh, just to keep one extra for future use. Um, and then we take it, uh, take the lava buckets. It's, it stinks that they don't stack, so you kind of have to move them one by one. Uh, take the dark matter, and there we go volcanic amulet so it does leave us with some empty buckets we can just go ahead and condense those back we don't need them um, okay so volcanic amulets that is what we are going to use to make our in our nearly infinite lava supply um, now in order for it to work it does work off of a Klein star but luckily Klein stars oh, oh. Oh, an empty client stock can be condensed, not one that has EMC in it. Ugh. Okay. But anyway, in order for my, my thing to work, we do need an, another client star. Uh, so I'll make that in a second. But first, let's go ahead and build what is called a deployer. Uh, now, what a deployer does, it essentially acts like a right click. Uh, it's really easy to make, actually. It's going to be a piston. So a deployer basically, like I said, acts like a right click. So let's say if you put the volcanic amulet inside of it, uh, what that, that is going to do is that is going to right click that volcanic amulet, which the volcanic amulet actually spits out lava. So um, it allows us to to continually spit have lava basically. So. Um, let me go ahead and I, I can't think and do this at the same time. I can't talk and do this. So, uh, no, nope, 
that's not it. I need a chest. Okay. So, uh, in that case, it's going to continue to be spitting out lava, which will allow us to continually pump up that lava. Because as you probably have have looked, if you've looked up at my um, at my volcano and in my tanks, I'm running really low on lava. It's just uh, it hasn't. I haven't pumped for a long time um, because the volcano is just completely dried out. So now that I have a deployer, what I need now is a timer. And that is a timer. It's actually not that hard to make. It's just kind of you need these stone wafers. Uh, so you just need to take stone, I think a total of eight. So it's going to be just like that. Oh, I don't take that out. And then we need do need a redstone torch because that goes actually we need two of them looks like okay so two redstone torches uh, come on we can going to take these real quick uh, we can go and make let's see so that is going to be a stone wafer it's on torch and some stone so like this and some stone so that is going to be a stone pointer, which we now have. A then the stone cathode or cathode. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, cathode like that. Uh, there's our, the rest of our stone wafers. Then we need three of these, the stone wires, uh, which is just stone with redstone, like that, and then stone. I mean, I don't know how to pronounce it. An anode. Uh, oh, actually, we need more stone wafers. Um, looks like we need two more. Uh, yeah, we actually only need one more, but two is going to be uh, enough what we need. So, okay. Let's go ahead. Ooh, let's get one. next one, too. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. So. So now what you do, take the, we need to solve two of these, is that right? I want to make sure. Yes. Okay. And then you do like this. Boom. Uh, and then we do need uh, two just regular stone wafers. So because of math, we need this. Okay. So uh, did I make, I made six of these. Hold on. I didn't need six. Oh, well, I have some extras. <laughs> so if I want to make any timers in the future, I have timers. <laughs> oh, I have these anodes or whatever. Uh, I did not see that it makes two. So whatever. <laughs> uh, I think another. Yeah, one more there. Then the pointer goes in the middle. Uh, cathode goes at the bottom, and this thing that I made too much of goes on the corners. Boom, a timer. So, um, I'm going to put this, these in here, this chest for now. I don't really know where to put them. Um, so, a timer. What a timer does is it emits a redstone signal every time it clicks right there. So, it's actually really useful because you can speed it up. Well, let's do... So, right now it's going really, really fast. It does make this awful clicking noise <laughs> like a clock but I've, uh, I've turned down my uh, and then you can slow it down as slow as you want so it does come in uh, it is really handy um, in order to, to make things work because it's it's the red power 2 mod and that's what what it is um, okay so I'm gonna go make a client star real quick let's go ahead and do that actually you know what I don't need a client star now I have I have one in my inventory that's gonna be enough for our purposes I do, however, would like to fill it up a little more. So, we will, to recharge the Klein Star, uh, one more, there goes. Okay. Just like that. Uh, let me go and have a little sleep, because I'm going to be out in the forces of nature. So.
Mm, oh, yawn. I really did uh, stretch and yawn when I was sleeping. Uh, it's it's still early, and I didn't get much sleep last night. It just it was it was just a really long night. Oh, dumb spider, come here. It was just a really long night. Um, anyways, um, because of where I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to do it right behind. Uh, well, that's perfect, actually. Um, yes, I choose you. So I do want to fill it in a little bit. We don't need a huge space. Um, you can just use some dirt. Dirt in the desert. So what I'm going to do is have three. Actually, I do want three down. Um, three down and three wide. I don't know why I'm digging. I can easily just. I'm just. I don't think sometimes. That's probably the biggest reason why. Three down. Three across. And three. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's what I decided on. Oh, I do need more down. So that. Oh. Uh, I don't want to do that. Oh, come on. This is going to be our... Our lava facility now. Actually, I think I want to have a little bit... Oh, that's right. I do have it off one. Because I wanted it to be... Okay, because I want the three exposed. So that's going to be it. Ugh, I'm gonna get this right one day. One day. Okay. So that's it. So, what we do is we place... Oh, actually, we're gonna have to place it in a certain way so that it's facing the right direction. And you can get a screwdriver, which can actually flip it. Uh, it can flip this around. And a screwdriver is really easy to make. I just didn't want to run back to the house. So it's just uh, an iron and a stick. So it's not hard at all. But I didn't want to run back to the house. So anyways, um, and then you take this wire. Now with the wire, uh, if you right click, it will, you can hold it down. And actually, because if you do it on top, it just opens the, the, the user interface. But if you shift and you can actually click it on. I think I've told you that before. Um, and then you could put the little timer down. So as you can see, it's clicking away. So what you do is you place the volcanic amulet and you actually... Uh, not hearing a noise, um, probably because my volume is turned down. But anyways, if we put that in there with it, boom, and we have lava. Ooh, okay, yep, we're good. We are good. So that is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so now because of the, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. I'll probably switch this out for stone eventually and completely encase it. Um, I'm actually just going to stop real quick. I uh, don't want to keep filling up. Okay, now we have to go run and get up pump and some uh, let's find what did I uh, What did I, is it this way? Oh, it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, I'll have to figure out how to how to wire how to pipe that in. Okay, so I'm gonna go and go up here. Go get my pump and my redstone engines and also some of the pipes. Okay, let's see. Now with with a pump, especially a lava pump, you do want to be careful you can uh easily drop it down your volcano. 
Uh, so just kind of, I shift click and then I kind of walk into it. Oh, that would be bad. Okay, anyways, um, we need some of these pipes. Uh, so I have my pump, I have pipes. Okay. Okay, I think that is, that is plenty. Okay, so what we got to do now is we got to put the pump on our semi-infinite lava supply. Now, uh, I'm going to call it the nearly infinite lava supply, um, or nils, uh, nearly N-I-L-S, nearly infinite lava supply. Oh, I'm almost dead. I'm, I'm going to starve. Okay. Right. Yeah, doesn't come up with an acronym. Maybe I can come up with an acronym for it, and maybe I won't. So, anyways, um, I'm going to pump it. I'm going to use some cobblestone to make this. Okay, so what we got to do, because uh, it does have to be right over the source block is where the the pump has to be. Uh, I don't need this right here. Make, oh, I think I picked it up. Okay, so there we go. Uh, go ahead and round off the corners. Okay. So, so just like before, we place the uh, we place a block there in order to place the pump down. Go and destroy that, and then we place our redstone engines <gasps> okay that was that was too close too too close okay uh, place down our levers okay now they are going it is beginning to pump um, now because of the the lava runs out like in volcanoes or whatever and the way to stop that is actually to Uh, and that's why I'm building this, so that way I have an, always have some I'll have a lava supply. Let's see, how am I going to do this? Okay, so I'm going to destroy this one, and I'm going to place it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's see if it's pumping. It is pumping. You can see it going down. Uh, so if you just place this right here, oh, and there it goes. Okay. So go ahead and bring this over. Bring it down. We'll go ahead and bring it all the way down. Like so. Okay, just like that. Now what's going to happen, because I do have a split in the pipe, half of it is going to go one way, half of it is going to go the other way. Uh, that way, every... Oh, I need to fix that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I hate breaking things. Especially with redstone. Redstone is... is so finicky. Uh, okay. Then now it's all piped. Uh, i got to really do this one, too. Anyways, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and call it there. I have my, uh, see it's already pumped up most of it. So what you have to do if when you pipe, connect this again, like that, what it's going to do is it's going to continually pump lava, basically. Well, not pump lava, but it's going to continually make lava that needs to be pumped out. Uh, and it uh, makes it so much. So the only thing I have to put in here is after uh, every now and then I do have to check this Klein star. See, it, it's already gone down. It goes down a little bit each time, uh, it, but it's not that much at all. Uh, it's about 50 maybe. Uh, yeah, about 50 or 60 uh, each time. And look how much lava I'm getting. I mean, and once these redstone engines heat up, it's gonna pump pretty much constantly. Um, filling up my tanks and just making life 
a whole lot easier. Anyway, thanks for joining me again in another episode of Ticket Crash. I hope you guys enjoyed my infinite lava supply. I know that I uh, enjoyed coming up with the idea, and hopefully, you, maybe some of you will implement it into your own geothermal facilities, so that way you guys can have your infinite lava. Anyway, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Um, like I said, like I've said in the past, uh, once I have f 50 um, subscri subscribers, I will reveal what I'm going to do in my series. So please subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see and what you guys want me to make. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Check it, crash.